Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited to introduce you all today to our new puppy, Kibo. Not pictured as chibi, she's hiding under the bed because she's still pouting that we have a new baby in the house. So we've just got the two white fluff balls with me here today. Ouch, Kibo. We decided to name him Kibo. It means hope in Japanese. So keeping on with the trend of Japanese names with Kokoro and Chibi. Kokoro's name means soul. Chibi's name means like little wrench, short one. So Kibo is our little hopeful boy. So a lot of people have been asking me, what kind of dog is he? Why didn't you get a Corgi or another Esky? And to be honest, we've always wanted a big dog. So when we got Kokoro, we were living in an apartment and just didn't think that it was a good time to start off with a really big dog for our very first pup. So we ended up getting her and she is, you know, a nice 20 pounds. She's very compact. And same with Chibi. When I got Chibi, I had just graduated from college. So just sort of starting out in my career and thought it might be easier to manage two small dogs in a little apartment. After we moved into our house, and now we have a nice big yard. I've been trying to convince my husband to get another dog for a really, really long time. So he finally, finally agreed that we were ready after we fostered Mello, we fostered another big dog, Polly. We had friends' dogs here to try out what it would be like to live with three dogs in our house. And it's definitely a tough decision because when you have three dogs, you're outnumbered. With Kokoro and Chidi, you know, each of us could take one leash and each of us could manage one dog. So it's just a little bit easier to have one dog per person, but upgrading to three is, you know, another level up. So we were definitely considering that for a really long time and making sure that adding another dog was the right thing to do. But thankfully we have some more time now. We have a nice big yard. The dogs are a little bit older. So Kokoro and Chibi are about to be seven and eight in May and we wanted our next pup to have the opportunity to know them and become friends with them before they get too old and cranky. <laughs> so we ended up deciding to look for a big dog breed. So Kibo is a white Swiss Shepherd or Burger Blanc Swiss. They are actually not recognized as a breed with the American Kennel Club just yet. They're pretty uncommon in the US but can be found a little bit more in Europe, Russia, I think Australia and New Zealand has a few more kennels. So there's not very many of them here in the US and a lot of people have never seen his breed before. Even our vet that we took him to yesterday was like, what kind of breed is this? I've never seen one here at the office before. Can you tell me a little bit more about them? So essentially white Swiss shepherds are closely related to German shepherds. They came from the white variation of German shepherds many, many generations ago. The AKC doesn't recognize white German shepherds as a valid color. It's a disqualifying color but people were still interested in the white color when that happened, so breeders continued breeding them and eventually created a new breed of dogs similar to the German Shepherd, but they have a little bit different structure, their backs aren't as sloped, they have a more mellow, calm personality, more of like an off switch compared to German Shepherds who are very serious, driven working dogs. And so they created the new breed of Berger Blanc Swiss, and these pups are, you know, similar to German Shepherds, but Definitely, they make better family dogs. They can make really good therapy and service dogs. I was really interested in a dog that still has some working drive, similar to Corgis, but not as crazy as something like a Border Collie that constantly needs a job. And so these guys are supposed to be calm. <laughs> you can see that he's just a little baby right now and definitely a little crazy. So we got Kibo from a breeder in Oregon. We're really lucky that we were able to get him. Um, most breeders have a really long waiting list because there's just not that many reputable breeders here in the US and He happened to be a singleton. He didn't have any other litter mates um, So he's a little bit of a, a little man. He thinks that he's the king of the world right now We got to meet his mom and his dad when we flew up to pick him up and It's really nice to actually be able to see the temperaments of the parents as I've mentioned in previous videos, this is something that you definitely want to do because the temperaments of the parents and what they look like and how much they weigh and everything really are indicative of what you're going to get in your puppy. So 
Um, unfortunately for Kokoro and Chibi, we just didn't know any better then and didn't have the opportunity to do that. So it was really great to see this little guy with his mom and his dad. His papa is a big boy. I think he's over 90 pounds and he was just the goofiest, goofiest pup. And so we can't wait to see him grow up and see what he looks like. We basically did a day trip, flew up 7 a.m. from LA to Oregon, and then we drove out to the breeder's house. Spent a couple of hours there just talking to the breeder, meeting Kibo, and he was definitely a little shy baby at first. He a little shy baby, but you know, he's a little crazy, crazy man now. We're also really lucky because the breeder did a lot of training with him before we brought him home. So he already knows how to sit, down, touch, shake, and he's pretty much potty trained already. We think he's gonna end up being like 90 pounds at least. He's already pretty big for his age. Yesterday we went to the vet for the first time and he weighed in at 20 pounds. And so half a week ago he was 17 and a half pounds. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how fast he's growing. He did amazing on the plane, so we had a little carrier that we got from Roverland and we put him in the carrier when we were at the breeder's house to get him acclimated to it. We left for the airport and he was a really good boy. He was a good boy in the car. He was a good boy on the airplane. We did a lot of socialization training with him at the airport. We unzipped the top of the carrier and we're giving him treats for just looking around and not reacting and keeping his attention on us. So it was a really good way to start getting him used to socialization training. We got home Saturday night and introduced him to Kokoro and Chibi right away. Um, it's always a good idea to introduce dogs in neutral territory with lots of open space. So if they feel uncomfortable, they have some way to get away or not feel so like restricted, which can cause a lot of reactivity. So we always like to introduce our dogs to friends outside, which is exactly what we did with Kibo. We brought the dogs into the backyard, had them sort of do their sniffs and greetings and let them roam around on the grass together. Kokoro and Chibi did not really seem to care about him at first, but it was really expected because like I said, they're almost seven and eight. They are getting up there in age. They kind of know who their people and their friends are. A little annoying puppy being added to their life is not something that they can be bothered with right now. But they have been really nice to him. Kokoro is sort of bossing him around a little bit. So Kokoro is very, I'm the queen of this house. And when he tries to take her toys or her chews, she'll definitely put him in his place and kind of be like, mm mm. We're not doing that. You are bottom of the totem pole. And Chibi usually likes puppies and starts to play with them. So, so far she's kind of just acknowledging his existence but not really interacting with him. And he's learning to not be an annoying little puppy and jump on his sisters and bother them. So we'll definitely keep you guys updated the next couple of weeks on how they get along. And I'm sure they're gonna become best friends. So far, Kibo's personality seems to be very, very confident. He is a shepherd, so he's definitely observant. He looks around when he sees new people, new places, new situations, and he's sort of just taking it all in. Once he gets adjusted, he is just the most confident little nugget. He had his very first play date with one of our neighbors and she has a palm ski puppy and the two of them got along so well. They played tug together and so I can't wait to introduce him to all of our other friends' dogs and see how he plays. Kokoro and Chibi have never really been that into toys. Um, they're both very food driven and Kokoro is very human interaction driven so it's going to be really fun to have a dog that's really into playing tug, fetch. Um, we want to try out a bunch of dog sports with him, so agility, dock diving, lure coursing, rally, um, frisbee, and we got high hopes for this little man. We want to make some more videos about training, socialization, just raising a puppy in general over the next few weeks. So if you guys have any questions about puppies, about his breed, what a Berger Blanc Swiss is, feel free to leave them below and I'll try to talk about them in as many videos as possible that my schedule will allow over the next few weeks of crazy puppyhood. That's about it. I just wanted to check in, say hi, introduce y'all to Kibo, tell you a little bit more about him and our decision to get a third dog. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.